This was the moment Ian Tomlinson was pushed to the ground by PC Simon Harwood during the G20 protests. A short while later, the 47-year-old newspaper seller collapsed and died from internal bleeding. Now, four years on, the Met Police has apologised to his family. Today I apologise unreservedly for Simon Harwood's use of excessive and unlawful force, which caused Mr Tomlinson's death and for the suffering and distress caused to his family as a result. Ian Tomlinson's family will now receive an undisclosed payout from the Met, but today his stepson said the apology means much more. We, all we wanted in the beginning was uh, um, an, an admission of who killed our dad or who was responsible or contributing to killing our dad. And we got that today. So, uh, you know, we can finally move on and put this to bed. On that day four years ago, CCTV showed Ian Tomlinson trying to make his way home through the protests. He posed no threat. An inquest jury ruled he was unlawfully killed, but last year Simon Harwood was found not guilty of manslaughter by a jury in a criminal trial. Just two months later, he was sacked by Scotland Yard for gross misconduct. I just hope that people learn and take some knowledge from this not to let another family be sitting in this position that we've gone through for the last four and a half years. So I hope the Met take a leaf out of this case and uh, get some proper implements in place and get some, you know, get it out there to their new officers, the existing officers, that the consequences is this. And it's not fair putting innocent people through this if they, if they didn't ask to be here. For four years, the family of Ian Tomlinson have been fighting for justice. Now they finally have the apology they've always wanted.